friends subscribe to my youtube channel curious techie and press bell icon to get latest notification on any technological updates hey what's up friends Going from curious technique. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to change your how to change or shift from Synogen Pro OS to the original HTC user interface easily, easily by doing a simple step-by-step -step processor on your HTC One device. So let's get started. So friends. This is my HTC One M9 with Synogen ROM installed. Let me show you my device has been installed Synogen 13 version. As you can see here, it is running Android Marshmallow 6.0.3. Yeah, right. The main thing is first you have to download the rom file from the htc website just check your device from the list and download the rom friends make sure you have backup everything if not please install htc sync manager and sync all the data so just download the huge big htc rom file while downloading it just power off your device and press power button and volume down button simultaneously for five seconds here you will get fast boot options and here you can see my fast boot is unlocked we should relock it now i'll show you how to relock our htc device now go to pc open android sdk platform tools i'll provide the link in the description below download it and connect your mobile to the pc and enable usb debugging from developer options now open the command prompt and go to the file directory where you have downloaded sdk tools now just type fast boot OEM lock and wait for 5 minutes your device will start rebooting and after a while it will switch on. Yeah. Now just switch, switch it off your mobile and then again press volume down and power button and go to fast boot, fast boot options. Now you can see the fast boot or bootloader has been successfully relogged. Now you can successfully install your preferred ROM. Now by directly opening your RUU ROM file, your device will shift from Synogen to its original OS. Just run the ROM file as run as administrator and install the software. Process generally takes 10 to 15 minutes of time. After that, you will you can use your original HTC OS that's HTC Sense with Nougat version. So just install the software and clear all the formalities which has been asked. Just tick all that and just tap on next. Here you can see the update file. Just click on next, next. As you can see here, my HTC device has been booting. So this is this is it, friends. After installing it, you can get like this original HTC Nougat version. So that's it, friends. Hope this video helped a lot. If you liked my video, please don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for technical technological updates and technological hacks. This is Moin from Curious Techie signing off. Jai Hind.